Sorry, Steve. This is Steve from Boxing UK. An absolute pleasure to be joined by the Romford Bull. Johnny Fisher, we finally got you. Yeah, thanks for having me on, Steve. It's been a long time, as we said, but uh, thanks for having me on. You're very welcome. Um, right, Johnny, the first question we were just talking off camera about, many of us have been aware of you for a couple of years, long before you even came anywhere near a pro debut. How did that happen? Well, you asking me, I, it's just one one thing after the other snowball effect. It's just, I met some great people in SJM Boxing. And it really started from when I was sparring with Joe Joyce. And from there, I got signed, uh, I went to Vegas first of all with them to, for the Dubois fight because obviously that fight was scheduled for last year and he was preparing in Vegas at the time before the virus hit. I done well out there and sparred a few more times and then there was no even any talk about turning professional at that point. And then we got back and about August time, Sam said, do you want to turn professional with us? And I thought, why not? I've just come out of university, just finished the Exeter Uni, and I thought, the world's in a funny place. Why not give it a go and see how far I can go? And we're here now, signed to Matchroom, had my pro debut, and we're 1-0, ready to rock and roll. So no regrets then? I think it's safe to say. <laughs> I would have regretted not taking the chance. Absolutely. Johnny, just how mad has the last 12 months been? Because if you think of the names that's associated with you, like you see, you've got Sam Jones with S-Jam, uh, you've sparred with Daniel Dubois, you've got Joe Joyce, you announced yesterday, advising. Even in your training, you've yeah. got like Mark Tibbs, who's a fantastic trainer. Do, do you have to pinch yourself sometimes? Of course. How many, how many young people, young boxers coming through get the chance to be managed by SJM, a great company, promoted by Eddie Hearn, sparring Daniel Dubois and Joe Joyce on a regular basis and other top guys. Been up to Peter Fury's gym and, and sparred with Fury Fury and people like that and I just couldn't, I couldn't be happier. And as you said, topped it all off was uh, getting the advisory deal and getting advice from Joe Joyce as a former part of my team now. It'd be brilliant. Um, can we talk about your debut? Yeah, of course. You, you only get one. Did you soak everything yeah. up in the bubble? Have you got some good memories yeah, or did bubble. it go by in the blink of an eye? It went by very quickly, but I did have a great time in there because it the trouble with the bubble, though, you, you can't switch off. You're always thinking about the fight because you're in there with your opponent and it's four or five days. Just You've got to deal with the stress. And I dealt with the stress because when it came to fight night on Saturday night, I felt really relaxed and I felt calm. I think part of what helped me do that is just switching off of all social media after the weigh-in and just coming back to reality because social media is a, it's a great tool and it helps promote yourself, but it's not real life. So you've just got to switch off from that. And when it comes down to it, it's just two men having a fight in a boxing room. Am I right in thinking, Johnny, in fight week, you said that you were going to take your time with Matt Gordon and then you went and stopped yeah. him in the first round? That was me taking my time. That's the thing. I was taking my time. If you look at me as an amateur, I just try and rush in and, and smash people through, like, no technique, just run through people. And it works some of the time, but it doesn't work against seasoned professionals like that. And it wouldn't have looked very tidy. So I'm very happy that I showed him that I dominated him from the first minute. And then after a minute, took a step off and looked for some counters and I got I showed a little bit of skill and what I can do. I've got a long way to go, but I showed a little bit of counter punching skill, so I'm pleased with that. The post fight interview, Johnny, is probably you're going to be dogged with this for the rest of your career. Eddie said the journey with you is going to be double lively. Yeah. Yeah. A, how many times has people mentioned that uh, since Eddie said it? <laughs> and B, it's what, been brilliant. I've, I've go on. Yeah, how many times have people actually said double lively to you since? And what's the reality? Lots what's the journey going to be like with you? Yeah, yeah. Listen, Eddie knows. I think more than anyone that I've got to take it slow, and I've, I've got a long, le long learning process ahead of me. And I've always said that from the very start, anyway. But double lively is a is a great nickname to be added to to what I'm what I'm about, and it's true. Where we're from, that's a good saying. So everyone everyone's been clinging onto it and clocking onto it. It's good. Yeah. Because you're only you're only 22, Johnny. Yeah, I turned 22 a couple of weeks ago, so I'm still very young in professional heavyweight boxing, especially. Like we look at guys like my friend Joe Joyce, who's really hitting his peak and prime now at 35. So I've got a very long way ahead of me. So, what's your plans for the next 12 to 24 months? Because you probably get asked how far can you go, but I would assume that you're probably looking no further than a year or two ahead. Yeah, yeah. Listen, everyone wants to get to the top of the, the heavyweights. Everyone wants, to be, everyone wants to be a world champion if they get into boxing. But there's a long, hard road ahead of me. And the first 12 to 24 months is just 
trying to build up that record, get my experience in the ring. And it's going to be about about learning to fight in that arena. I've got some great sparring in it. I'm, I'm, I'm good at sparring people, and but it's a different experience when you're in that ring. And I'm, I'm grateful that on, on the Saturday night, on the 20th of February, I handled that pressure. And I've just got to keep doing that and keep learning on the job and get a few more rounds in here and there. And it is a cliche saying learning on the job, but I am more than anyone learning on the job in the, in the heavyweight division. Absolutely. Um, can I talk about your sparring? You've said you sparred Daniel and you've obviously been in with Joe. Just on those two guys, can Daniel come back from the defeat against Joe? And how far can Joe Joyce go? Because if rumours are to believe, he might have Usyk next. Yeah, well, the, I think uh, Daniel Dubois, first and foremost, he's, I've been training with him and he's more focused than ever. And I really believe he can be a world champion one day. I really do believe it. And he will be. I have no doubt in my mind that he will be a world champion because he's got he's got freakish power for one thing and he's got a great work ethic. And now with the team of Jimmy Tibbs and Mark Tibbs and Steve Andrews helping him, couldn't ask for much more. And Joe Joyce as well, he's on the verge of being a, being a world champion. Usyk, if that fight doesn't come off, there's some other good names around there. But he's in a he's in a great position. He's just got to wait a little bit longer, see what happens with Fury and Joshua, and then let the landscape uh, take fold, and then um, take take a take a take a chance from there. Yeah, because obviously Joe's at the. I know he's quite a young fighter in sense of the amount of fights he's had, but Joe's yeah. 34, 35? 35, I think. Yeah, can Joe win the world title? Of course he can. Why? I don't see no reason why he can't. Can be if he fights Usyk for the WBO. I don't know if that's happening, but I think if you look back to the WSB when he fought Usyk, that was over five rounds. Joe looks like a completely different man. And yeah, Usyk won that fight, but over twelve rounds in the heavyweights now, with Joe like he is, I think it's going to be a, t- a tough ask for Usyk, especially after he struggled a little bit in the first rounds with, uh, yeah. with Derek Chisora. But if he does pull it off, full credit to Usyk. I'm a big fan of Usyk as well, and um, it's a great fight, and it will be. There's so many great fights to be made in the uh, heavyweight division at the minute. Yeah, I mean, as I said, Joe's at the, the tail end of his career. You're right at the start. You're one of the, the new young blood. It might yeah. be that at some point, might you have to go in with Daniel? Maybe one, at some point, but at the minute we're teammates. I mean, we don't, we don't even think like that because we're, we're working as a team. We're going and sparring different people. We went to spar in Birmingham um, on Friday against Solomon Dakers, who's managed by SJM as well. And a couple of other guys, Franco Ignatius as well. And we're a team when we go on spa. And that's, that's going to help me massively because I know Daniel Dubois is levels above me at the minute because of the experience. He's been a pro for three to four years. He's had 15 fights and just took that step too early against Joe Joyce. But for me to be in the shadow and learning off him, that's going to be an unbelievable experience for me. Absolutely. Uh, two more. What's next for you, Johnny? When we see you back out? Hopefully out in the middle of May. They're building the card as we speak, so hopefully soon we'll have a, uh, a, a fight date um, nailed on. I've got a date, like what I've been told by Sam and Eddie Hearn, but I'm just preparing. I haven't really stopped. I had a week off of training after my fight, but I've been I've been sparring and, and training hard anyway. Now, once I get the date, I can really start stepping it up and getting into fight mode. Brilliant. And then last one, um, stable mate, Billy Joe Saunders, also trained by Mark Tibbs. Yep. Are you going out? Yep. Might you be getting to Mexico? No, I'm not going out. I'm staying here. It's, I think the fight's taking place in Texas. Um, Mark Tibbs has been training with Billy over in uh, Fuerte Ventura. They've been training really hard. He looks in fantastic shape. And they're ready to put on a show. And they know it's a tough ask, but they don't come to lose. Billy Joe certainly doesn't come to lose. He's a, he's a born winner. So um, we'll be backing him all the way from uh, England. Can you do it? Of course he can. No reason why he can't do it. Canelo is pound for pound king and it's a massive ask but this, if you want to be a world champion undisputed pound for pound king then you've got to beat the pound for pound king and Billy Joe has got the attitude the mindset and the skills I think the only man who can cause Billy Joe any problems left in the, left in the division who he hasn't already fought. Brilliant. Johnny we look forward to speaking to you again soon. More than that we look forward Thank to you seeing you back much. in the ring soon. Yeah. Yeah, thanks for having me on, Steve. Really appreciate your, your support and um, it'll be good to hear from you soon. Lovely. Johnny, you keep safe, mate. Thank you for your time.